We're playing Fear and Hunger today. I'm playing the censored version, so there will be no penises. Only pine cones. Connor's gonna be backseating me on call after I've been playing for a while. I can't wait to cry. All right, guys, here we go. Mercenary, thief, assassin, whatever brings the silver to the table. A knight with pure and righteous ways of the warrior having been trained for combat since a child. Knights excel in close combat with different weaponry. A dark priest. No burden on such things as morality and ethics gives dark priests an edge in blood magic. However, devoting oneself to magic has left his physical body weak. Hardened in the freezing winds of the north, Outlander is an epitome of survival. He knows all the tricks to stay alive. I shall be a knight. Ah! This game contains extreme violence, gore, sexual violence. <laughs> Choose a game mode. Fear and hunger, easier mode. Terror and starvation? <laughs> Oh shit. You were born with the soul of domination. You are a natural leader, but you might often end up blind to self-criticism. At an early age, you were sent to, into training to become a holy knight of Kingdom of Rondon. The Kingdom of Ravioli! It is said that a fighter shows their true colors in their first fight. When you saw the sword coming your way, you... I'm quick on my feet! You learned fast stance! What that mean? The kingdom of Rondon claimed to follow the will of the gods in its pursuits for more power. All the rewards seemed to fall into the laps of the elite and the nobles sitting comfortably behind the castle walls. Your devotion was shaken. You were all but ready to retire from the army, but your family insisted. No! Or else you'd bring great shame to their noble family. Let's be real. In a Latinian household, you'll always be a disappointment in your family. I'm leaving. The common folk was starting to gather around the charismatic leader, Lagor. Without a warning or negotiations, Lagarde killed everyone who stood in the way between him and this mysterious ancient relic. As the troops of the Rondon army marched towards your clearly smaller army, you had to choose which position to take in the coming encounter. Or maybe I should say, f*** it. Everybody dies today! You get an iron spear. Many of your comrades were slain, but you managed to escape the battlefield. Lagarde was taken as a captive and to be used most likely as propaganda. Even if it seemed like a suicide mission, you decided to save Lagarde from the prisons he was held in. Before leaving for your desperate a journey you decided to stock up on equipment and items rush that sounds reckless you learned that oh shit i can dash you step inside the stairway you feel your sanity decline with you ah no i'm going crazy the stench of death and gore fills the damp air there's a body on the ground seems like a sacrificial gift for the older god an ancient ritual circle is carved and drawn here it seems to be a symbol of an older more obscure god oh god opium pal oh shit opium Oh my god, this is so confusing. It doesn't really tell you where, where to go or what to do. I just know I have to find some dude. Heavy knight, hold it. Just hold it right there. Even if I may seem wounded, I can still pack a deadly blow or two, so don't get any ideas. Who are you? I am Sir Seymour, a knight from the Grand Kingdom of Rondon. Well, I used to be a knight too. I delved down here together with my comrades. We have a mission to fulfill. Fate would have it so that each of us got lost. Now my priority is to regroup with the crown prince. Prince Ludwig Buckman. <laughs> oh God, Prince Ludwig. Do you know this place? This place is used as prisons by the kingdom of Rondon. Everyone knows these dungeons around these parts. They are pretty notorious. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stupid. I shouldn't have asked, okay? Table has some old weapons. Time to search. Whoa. Whoa. What the? Oh, I accidentally used two. That was an accident. Maybe it was a mistake coming to these dungeons. Something is walking towards this room. I feel like everywhere I shouldn't be there. I'm gonna hide. You're seeing one, right? Don't stay in the doorway. You'll give us out if someone sees you. I don't know what business you got here, but if I were you, I'd run out as fast as possible. Behind every corner, something new awaits to harm me. Get a hold of yourself! It's not that simple! In case you haven't noticed already, these dungeons are filled with unimaginable horrors from the depths of the darkness. One more terrifying than the last. The most sadistic one would have to be the Trotor. The torturer of these dungeons- Oh, that guy! Oh, I can save and rest? Oh my- Sleep well, my sleeping beauty. Trotor, you filthy animal. There is no end to your cruelty. Praise your gods for this, your lucky day. Oh my god, I'm so... Ah! No! Oh god. Yes, this will do. Let's see, let's see. Oh god, oh god, help. You don't need your legs. Oh god, no. Not my legs, please. Ah! Don't you just love the trembling of pain? No! In this cold world, it's hard to have any feelings of pleasure, but you know, pain and pleasure are not that far apart. Bro, you're crazy. You're crazy. Arms disgust me, especially limbs like yours. You sick. You're sick. You're sick. 
You got no need for arms. Only one detail, and you'll truly be a worker. Oh God, is he gonna? <laughs> better now you are beautiful well guys i beat the game i had my dick chopped off god damn it the knight is a girl oh my god he cut off my pussy oh my god not my cat oh no way i have to do this all over again oh my god does that mean i lost everything oh my god i lost everything well i understand now i understand the game there's a guest book on the table. Someone has written passages here. This nightmare has taken its toll on me. I am devolving into something far lesser than the man I once was. The things I've done to survive. There is no place for a little miscreant like me in the warmth of the sun anymore. I am part of these dungeons now. Just a one more cog in this machine of fear and hunger. He said the thing. That's the title of the game. You find a small booklet under the guest book. You take the book of fears with you. Book of fears and phobias. Necrophobia, phasmophobia. Hey, that's a game! <gasps> ah! 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 Oh shit. <gasps> fails, never fails! No! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Yo, that is such bullshit. I cut off his head. Wait, can I? Woo! You feel a bit rested even though you had troubling dreams. It's the only free save. Well, you know what? At least, at least we have a little bit of the game already under our belt now. It felt like someone was watching you while you slept. This room doesn't feel safe anymore. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> ah! What the fuck is this? You find yourself inside rotten embrace of flesh. Everything is cold, wet, and stinks repulsively. Ew! Ah! What? I lived? Oh no, but I ain't got no legs, bros. I don't have any legs! <gasps> Who disturbs my sleep? A beheaded wizard! Can't you see I have not retained my whole body, you insolent fool? I need more fresh blood for the ritual. Uh-oh. Oh no, he's summoning something! What the fuck is that? A lot he's coming! <laughs> Approaches, but it is a glorious way to go. Oh god. Is he gonna eat me? Oh god, I'm crushed with great pressure. Oh. At least I went out swinging. I don't know if I should try and save. Oh my god, he's down there in that room. I wish I could save, man. I really want to save, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid to try to save. Kinda wanna try. Oh man, I got f I can't believe this. How is my luck so bad? Yeah, 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 okay. I'm so annoying. No, what f you. Crazy. My leg. Yeah! Oh, that felt so good. Search. Empty scroll. An empty scroll waiting for someone to write in it. First verse? What does this mean? What is this for? Oh, Lord. Is that what I should write? That's it? Oh, Lord, teach healing whispers. Healing whispers? What's that? Whispers carried by the older god Sylvian. Heal. <gasps> Can I heal my broken bone? Oh, oh. It costs 30 mine. Oh, never f mine. Oh, hey, you got me out of here. I'm Kahara the South, a mercenary at your service. Feeling kind of weak after being left here for ages. Would you mind if we traveled together for a while? I think I want him to be friend. Good idea. Great. Let's do this. What the heck is this? A simple crude doll. Depicting a long-haired man is laying on the ground. The doll gives you chills and an eerie vibe can be felt from it. You take the peculiar doll. Whoa! Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> Wait, what? Where'd the guy go? I might just restart. Just kill me now. What? Oh. 
Who's this guy? Well, hello, stranger. How are you doing on this wonderful day? <laughs> I don't we all? Don't we all? What are you doing here? I'm a merchant of sorts. I sell precious items and weapons. The funny thing is, I don't want your gold or silver in exchange. I will trade items for human children. Huh? Bring them to me and I'll make it worth your while. My pockets are very deep, you see. Oh my god. I'm not seeing any children with you. What the f- ah! You can tame him? Oh, offer rotten meat. He starts to eat it. Oh! I have dog! Dog, save me. I want to take it. Oh, man. Goodbye. I'm looking for a person. Right. I think I know who you mean. I don't meddle with anything that happens in the upper floors, but I think the person you're looking for is located in the dungeons just a few floors down. I would appreciate some working peace, if you don't mind. A hexen table stands here ominously. What's a hexen? Whoa. Pheromones, loving whispers. Well, I can't get anything because I guess you need souls. Soul stones. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, bro, rip me. Oh my god, look at me. <laughs> I might as well. I, I already lost my legs. I lost my arm. I lost my f dog. Might as well rob that guy. Soul Devour Necklace. A silver necklace with the soul stone embedded on it. The stone protects against otherworldly powers. Well, that could have been very useful when I lost my f legs now. Then wouldn't it be? Oh. Why do you sound sad? Wouldn't it have been useful for me to have such a thing before I lost my f legs? So, question. How much do you want me to help? Because I think we just reset this run. As in, go back to your last save. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, I'll restart. So, the items always randomized as well. If you die and reset, there'll be different items when you go back to the same space. Which is good and bad. Now, make sure you search everything, because you never know what could be, like, really crazy busted, and you could get lucky and find. There you go. Oh, that's a... Did you activate that? Yeah, that's the... That's the go down. Yeah, that's where you gotta go. Why go deeper go in the there? dungeons to find the god. Why do I have to go there, Connor? Who knows? Yeah, uh, you know, and also books are the most OP thing in the game. So make sure you search every bookshelf you ever see or books that you see. I will. What about this place? You found out what happened earlier, right? Yeah, I found well, out. Don't don't do it again. Well, should I go <laughs> down or should I go to the side? It's up to you. When you entered that room, you were prompted with a decision and you you chose a decision. There's never a right or wrong decision in the game, but there's, there's good and bad decisions that can sometimes have good consequences and bad consequences. And, and you chose one that was kind of uh, whatever. The game's kind of mean, as you've noticed. It is um, a very mean game. But it's it's interesting, and it, and it makes sense. There are people who it is beneficial for you to talk to, and there are people who it is beneficial for you absolutely not to give them a chance to talk. you got to figure out. All right, go back in that room. Get revenge. Somebody's walking. What should I do? Well, you hid last time, and I didn't do you much well, so... Ambush time! A wretched-looking person walks out of the shadows. You attack him straight away. Well, if you know somebody would have torn your arms and legs off in private parts, what would you do? If you kill him. him again. Yeah, I mean, I... Try to attack me now, you piece of shit. He's losing his balance. What does the exclamation mark mean? It means their head is vulnerable. Goodbye. Most enemies will, will, um... As, uh, Sir Seymour told you earlier, cutting their legs makes them lose balance. <laughs> I beat the shit out of him. I'm assuming since the guy is dead, I could save here, right? Possibly. So if you get prompted for a coin flip, that means there's enemies in the area. I truly have nerves of steel, my friend. You also managed to get rid of that wretched torturer. Travel with me. I apologize, but not this time. I will catch my breath here for a while. Oh, he declined. The bucket is full of blood. Oh, I could put it in a glass vial. Oh, what the fuck is that? Go have a look. Oh, no, not the crack in the floor. God damn it. It's actually not bad. Five? You actually unlock a new area that you wouldn't be able to get to otherwise. So. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's just like you can just get free loot in this area. So it's really not that bad. You get no punishment for falling down there. Oh, okay. No, just loot everything here and leave. They will create an idol out of our fears. <gasps> Uh, never mind. There is, uh, wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait. What? Okay. Well, why did you just use that? I thought they were going to try to kill me. Okay, that's fine. It was a dark priest. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean bad, you know? And the priest's robe. Yeah, okay, nice, nice. 
Maybe uh, get the other guys too. A soul stone. Oh, maybe maybe click on his body again. Yeah, there you go. Use a soul stone. Mm, now you have a lesser soul stone. What does that mean? I believe you came across a hexen table earlier. Oh, that's right. I can use it at the table. But you only have one. So the more you have, the more you can upgrade stuff. The blood is dripping down to the pool at where the statue stands. Sacrifice him or leave power invested in me. In all, in the state of the internet. Congrats on crucifying someone. I mean, he was going to die anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, what did I tell you earlier? Whenever you get to a book... Oh, oh, that's very good. What's pinecone pig instructions? Very, very helpful item. Always, always shift on this. Yay! Scroll of lock picking. Oh, wow, actually, that's, that's very handy. You now no longer need keys. The book itself doesn't seem interesting in the slightest, but there are some separate pages left here as well. You find book pages one. Oh. Book of Enlightenment. Oh, well, that's very handy. Uh, don't don't open it. It's a free save whenever you need it. What's pinecone pig? Uh, have a look. The amulet of good luck and fortune. The pinecone pig seems to originate from the north in the little villages of Oligard. Can I make one? Oh yeah, you can make one. Oh I yeah. I made one. Very 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 useful item to have. So go down, and then you see a weird looking door over there. I'll interact with the door. Your refined talisman seems to react to the markings on the door. <gasps> I can go inside. Should I go inside? Yeah, why not? This room, you've just kind of unlocked the ability to use a hexen table in a kind of convenient area. Okay, you can leave for now. You've got this room unlocked. Jesus don't like me. Uh, sadly not. So you can just leave this room. This is just a nice, this is a very convenient area that you've unlocked now. So you're, you're able to have like a safe spot where you can upgrade stuff if you need to in future. Yes. So we can continue exploring the courtyard. Oh, Mr. Let's go, Pine let's go, let's go down. Yeah, and then just search around this area too. Wait, Make sure to loot everything, yeah. We can keep looking around this area. Oh, books. Books are always good. Searching. I don't think I have any more extra coins. That's fine. Let's have you get lucky. Scroll of the Dark Mage. That's very, very useful. You're a oh, yeah. Whimper? Mm, oh, God. We'll try to figure out what it is. Oh. Very nice. Someone in a cage. A little girl. She's hiding her face from you. You can open the cage door with lockpicking. <laughs> Girl, staying quiet. Go to your inventory. Use the scroll of black magics on her. Also, maybe get her out with some armor and stuff too. So what I would say now is kind of go back the way you came. So go all the way back and then go back to the courtyard. And you can go click on the hexen table. What do I do now? Oh, I thought you would be closer to Jesus, but I guess you're not. I'm not closer to Jesus at all. Jesus, don't love me. Then on the domination tree, which is your soul, go to defense stance and learn that. Uh, it means during battle, you can do a defensive stance to take less damage and potentially dodge more. Oh. It's pretty handy in longer fights. Now you're going to go all the way back to the mines. Do you remember how to get there? Down here? Yeah, go make your friend again. Oh, there we go. A little bit. to respect you to a certain degree. Let her join your party. Yay, dog! We can continue deeper in the mines like you did do earlier. What the f***? Do now? Well, you're in a boss fight. You want to do a, a fast attack. Okay, that's good. That was, a, that was a great turn for you. Well, you have an extra turn now, so what you're going to do is you're going to press skills. You're going to do defense stance. Uh, and you get an extra turn, so now we're just making it so that you have less chance of getting hit. Now that now it continues as normal. Uh, go for the booba. Go for the booba? What do I do with the girl? Just keep guarding. She's kind of useless, unfortunately. for the torso. Oh, she's gone. Let's go. Well, continue on. I feel a terrible presence entering the dungeons. Person kneeling. It's just Nostramus. Terrifying presence has entered the room. Uh, do you see that guy? Who is that guy? <laughs> I do. Connor, am I gonna die? He is very, very, very strong and he does want to kill you. Connor! Help! A person disappeared into the darkness, the echoes of his footsteps. Uh, ah! Help! Help, Connor, help! He is gonna follow you. No fucking way. Uh, yep, he does just follow you. Where did you find- Okay, wait, 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 wait. Move to the right, and then just run directly into him very quickly. Don't- There you go, okay. Don't attack him. Easy girl, easy girl. 
And calm down. Now you're going to talk to him. Which gods do you serve? I channel destruction, so isn't it obvious? Grogoroth? Grogoroth. He's a god of destruction. Correct. You are not completely misguided. Um, hit his legs. Okay, we're good now. Now talk to him. Can you teach about Grogoroth? I am not at a level to pass on knowledge of such matters. Seek out my master, Nazara of the East, if you desire to learn more. Oh, the guy from the from the room. Here, if you are to survive my blood magic, show this talisman to my master and show great humility. He might just listen to you. I got an eclipse talisman. Oh. Whoa, killed him. I would go back now, and you gotta hope you can dodge Crow Guy. All right, go off. And now you... Now go, go and talk to the floating hair guy. Hello, sir. I need more fresh blood. <laughs> oh, wait, I fucked What do you mean you fucked up? Connor! Yeah, you're gonna die. Alright, is he gonna eat me already? Jesus. This time, don't steal the bird's shit. Just... <laughs> okay. Well, um, it's bad. Throw the red vial at his face, and then the girl, make her use the throwing dart on his chest. And good luck, let's hope you can win. Oh. Yeah, I think you're good. Oh, you're very good. And now you want a fast stance? Fast attack, sorry. You're gonna wanna block with the girl. Oh, Ooh, no. Ah! no, the crows! Start hitting his chest. I'm just kind of trolling a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, what do I do? Her her arm is infected. Well, you don't have a green hose, so you gotta chop her arm off. I feel so conflicted chopping off this girl's arm. Why? We'll sell her to slavery in like a, 10 minutes. What? Are we seriously selling her? We might. Oh my god, you're you're insane! You're deranged! Yeah, get, the, get rid of the arm. <laughs> Well, now she's good, but now she's bleeding. Orange him. Go. Yeah. Hit his legs and his head. Scroll of Black Arts. Give that to the girl. Okay, now she's the most OP party member you have. After we cut off her arm! Oh, luckily, thank God, you don't need arms to cast magic. His black orb? Yeah, that's the most powerful spell in the game. But obviously, we can't spam it because it uses 20 mind. Investigate mysterious objects standing on pedestal. Ancient looking cube with ornaments and decorations. What is this thing? It's a quest item. When you take it, you know, if you turned up in someone's house, they might not like that, right? Oh. You have to take it, but I'm just warning you. I actually, talk, does, a, does that guy talk to him first? People draw those teams as just transactions. Oh, you have 40 silver coins. What do you want to trade for? Ooh. I think getting two opium powders and two blue vials is not a bad idea. You as much opium as possible it's a really strong okay i want as much opium as possible i'm gonna tell everybody that you told me that <laughs> can you stop pissing everywhere that's actually how the moonless levels up what by pissing yeah all right go get the cube of the depths okay they're all gonna attack you you can run past them all and then where do i go do you know where you put the rope go there okay go just ignore them you can oh all walk right past them uh calm down calm down yeah, there you go. This is censored right now, but you got to click around uh, on the in this room you're going to go into. Click on that censored mask. Celebration of flesh. I want more. Mm, yeah, you're going to partake. The masked gentleman seems to be in a very agitated state and is breathing heavily. He looks exactly like a pine cone pig. Take part in the feast? Can you explain to me what this feast is? I'll explain to you when you've done it. I don't see anything. Yeah, it's censored. Lust for flesh almost hooks you up, but not what? <laughs> The act, your affinity with the Grogoroth is growing. All right, press the menu. Well, uh, congratulations on becoming a cannibal. What? Yeah, you just cannibalized a bunch of people. I ate people? Yeah, d don't do it again, though, because it'll be a coin flip. Honor! But look, you're not hungry anymore. But I didn't want to eat people! Yeah, but no one ever wants to, but sometimes you got to. What? What is in your salad? <laughs> people. Oh, God. Okay, first of all, uh, go to your main character and equip the Eclipse Talisman. Could go and save on one of the beds if you want to. That's fine. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, this guy. Don't worry about this. Oh, okay. Wait, wait what? There's another head? Okay. Sure. Are Do you this. kidding? Uh, yeah, you can kill these things super easy, though. 
Oh, you can try the coin flip again. Yeah. YOLO, you can't lose three times in a row, right? <laughs> what the f*** is this? Oh, why? Just let me f save you, piece of shit! This poor girl! Okay, this is good. Okay, good. You're safe. Uh, cut off her, her leg. And this sucks for her. You gotta cut off her arm and a leg. That's impressive. It's okay, she actually doesn't need any limbs anymore. What anymore. The f this game is so f up! And get rid of her leg. Cool, cool, cool. Now, like now you gotta. Hopping you gotta around heal. on one fucking leg, this poor girl! Yeah. And now you should have one of the most OP party members. Who disturbs my sleep? Can't you see? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, there you go, you got the pine cone. You got the pine cone, but you're popping on the screen. Talk? Mm, yeah, talk to him. Hey, well, you're friends now. You're gonna be tight. Oh, what do I see? You seem to possess an eclipse talisman. That means you're slain one of my miserable pupils. I use my pupils like Queen Anne. Okay, what do I put? I think you can just do the first one. Fine. A miserable I worm. I just keep talking to him every What's turn. wrong? So just talk to him. You still waste your time talking to me? Suit yourself. Just keep talking to him. Don't waste your time talking to me. I feel like there's something greater waiting in the depths. Is that so? I wasn't expecting a worm like yourself to be carrying an item of that big importance. I could give you the honor of kneeling before me if you were interested. Let's do it. Too bad I have no body anymore. I would make you perform other tasks as well. I go by many titles, but you can call me Nazra the Doom and Terror of the Modern Man. Yep. I hate the idea that I'd have a brainless maggot like you following me as a pupil. But I might just need you this once. But to get the job done, I need my body back. I want you to aid me there. I have a floating headman. So Congratulations on having Nashra, a god, join your party. He's a god? Well, in the story, uh, he he was one of the new gods, yeah. Oh, where do I go now? He has some fun things. He can't die. He's very OP. Okay, okay, let's, kick, let's go down. Let's go back where you came. So when we backtracked, go back down that giant staircase to go back into the prison. What the fuck is that? Mysterious organ. You cannot quite tell what this organ is. There are veins coming from it and burrowing underground. It seems like it's connected to something bigger. Ew. Yeah, I think you should cut it. The liquid seeps from the open cut. The organ stopped moving. Oh, what's in there? Oh, you again. I'm surprised to see alive, to be honest. How are you? Are we really having this conversation? No, we are not. These are the last man-made walls you're about to see. Delve any deeper would be a suicide. Oh, what's that? You seem to carry an eclipse talisman. Where did you get it? By having that, you can actually get this Anki to join your party. But uh, your party's already full. There's an old book with rich golden illustrations left here. You take the Book of Enlightenment with you. Oh, there you go. Now you got two saves whenever you want. All right, go in that cell. Quickly. You seem to hesitate to open the door. <laughs> open it. Is that him? His throat is cut open. He's been dead for a while. This is the man you came here for. Which means that your initial mission has failed. Girl kneels next to the man. Your task in the dungeon is done. There's no reason for you to stay in here any longer. Oh, uh, you can get an ending now if you want. All that work for for nothing? It's one of the endings. Well, no, you can leave the dungeon now and you can get you can get an ending. There's multiple endings. All right, tell me what what else can I do? You can keep going and exploring what Lagarde was looking for. What was he looking for? Well, let's find out. Let's go deeper in the dungeon. I hear footsteps. Who's this? Oh, Nosramas. He has passed away, hasn't he? I thought he would have had a bigger role in the greater scheme of things, but alas. The seed of what he planted continues to grow and branch. If you continue your descent to the darkness, you can understand what I'm talking about. Head down and just maybe his death won't go in vain. Bye. Just go north from here. I will carry on his Lego sea. Ancient doors stand imposing here. Even if they seem age old, there are markings on the ground suggesting that they have been used rather regularly. You feel a pulse coming from the cube. Ancient city tomb of the gods, a stale and closed air filled ancient hallways. Okay, but you gotta be quick now. So go down that hallway. Walk fast, walk fast. From the door. Keep going. Fast. From the door. Oh no. Oh, That's too bad. You went fast enough. Connor. Oh, he did it. Just uh -huh. wretched soul. I've had to die. There is only blood. Oh, it didn't work. Oh shit. Okay. That's it. Yeah, just keep hitting his uh torso. Oh. God. Yeah, that's weird. Nice. Okay, Moonless needs bandage. Oh my god, and she's lost both her arms and like what the fuck? Well, goodbye her arm and leg. 
It's it literally doesn't affect her. Why do you say this? Generally, it changes literally nothing for Moonless. But it affects me! Yeah, that sucks, eh? Oh, nice, nice. All right, She's now go hungry. down. She's not that hungry yet. Bonner, she just had her paw sliced off. We have to give her some food. Compassion She's will get you killed. She's been through a lot, a lot. She's been through a lot in her life. Compassion will get you killed. Appears to be a place for a cube sheep. Okay, put the cube sheep. Oh. I'm, I'm pretty sure there'll be traps. She's seemingly distressed. Oh my god, bro. What's the problem now? What's the, what's the problem? Oh, because her mind is low. Uh, can you make her smoke tobacco? Okay. Yeah, make her smoke, uh, make her hit it again. What the Iron up. There we go. The crooked towers of Skyline reach higher and higher. Alright, yeah, so just loot everything. Oh, what's in here? Ooh, scroll of the swordsman. church of healing oh you're so lucky oh you're so so lucky use the healing whispers now yeah do it nice Is it, it heals everyone in your party by 30. Oh. bear in mind like the most powerful potions in the game do like 20 so it's very busted but your mind will go down it costs 30 mind sorry so it's very very powerful oh perfect okay buy the sorcerer's stone honestly i, I would equip it to the girl no more pine cone yeah, don't worry about it. The sulfur stone's so good. Okay, when you enter this room, to the right of you, there'll be the cube thing that you can put it in. Just do it immediately. Girl's looking some comfort for you. She's seemingly distressed. I'll just ignore her. She's just complaining. Oh, what the fuck? Why aren't the statues loaded? Oh. Okay, sorry, sorry. Go back to where you came from and then go put the cube back in the thing. Because right now you're in the future and we want to go back to the past. So go back the way you came. Yeah, there you go. Good. I'm sending you a picture. Make them all look like this. Okay, the door's open now. What the? Man, just jump down into the darkness. As you take a look down to the darkness, it almost looks like you see a giant shape floating towards me. <gasps> Time in the okay. Grand Library of Mahabha has come to an end. Right. That what rightfully belongs to me. All right, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus! Try talking some sense to the God of Enlightenment. Foul tail, the Enlightened One, doesn't react to your words, but a stream of ideas, concepts, and questions fill your head. You hear a question. Character walks among men called Pocket Cat. Is he the servant of which Elder God? Oh, shit. The Moon God. Correct answer. Oh, no. Not the third eye! Dark continent. Once the darkness slowly leaks to the western world, where the day only shines, eternal darkness and gray gloom. Oh, Vinland. Vinland? Yeah, it's actually called America too. America's the dark continent. What? Yeah. The dark continent. I missed. Wow. Honestly, you you just keep talking to him. Oh, it's hurting. Oh. My dog. Okay, you have an extra turn. Use healing whispers. Phew. Oh. Oh, very lucky. You're good. You're safe now. Oh, okay, finally. He hit the head. Did I kill his wieners? Yeah, so now you're totally safe. This fight is really easy. Just keep talking to him now, and you win. Who preceded me here at the Grand Library? Oh, Nashra. Nashra. Correct! I'll uh, just attack him normally on the head. And then now talk. Your question. We, the new gods, while we still walking amongst men, our fellowship, when did we embark on our journey to ascension? Year 809. Correct! Wow, I'm in a quiz show. Oh, oh no, his brain is gone. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah, we did it! We killed brain men! Head hurts a little. That doesn't matter. As you can clearly feel, something greater has just started to change. You get enlightened soul with you. You're done with this place. You can just leave the Grand Library now. Okay, go to the basement. Go down into the thing. Okay, go north. Then stick to the right. And then there should be a room somewhere along the right where you want to go in. All right, cool. Interact with the water. Shiny, reach for it. Ah! Right, just... Ooh. <gasps> Did not realize Moonless was low. Cool. 
my god, dinner! Uh, bring out the, the scroll. And do, oh lord, teach, and then transmutation. Go to the water and fill up empty vials you have. Okay, cool, you've done it. All right, now press escape, go to your skills, and then use simple transmutation and transmutate water into wine. Oh my god, I'm Jesus! Yeah, so drink two wines now. It costs 15 mind to turn water into wine, but when you drink wine, you'll get 30 mind. So if you go to item, you basically can have infinite mind now. So you wine and just drink it. You do just keep, get, uh, get everyone's mind full. And then before you leave, just heal everyone with healing whispers. Let's go to the prison then and save. Look, it's changed. Yeah, no kidding, huh? So yeah, you're pretty much, uh, yeah, you're golden right now. Obviously, we lost Moonless. That kind of hurts. But honestly, with the three characters you have, you can easily beat the game. It'll take like another three or something hours if you wanted to get an ending. Any ending right now would take three hours? You can get one right now. Actually, we can just go and get it real quick now if you want. If you want to, like, a break, this is probably a good time to get this ending, and then you can just come back get the next endings next stream. I'll get that ending now. Mm -hmm. And then next time when you come back see me again, we'll get the other ones. That right, sounds good. Wow, okay. You nearly just triggered that attack yourself. <laughs> and then leave. Just leave. To escape the dungeons of fear and hunger, part of you still doesn't believe this to be the truth. You can still mm -hmm. feel the pressure of the never-ending darkness that the underground caverns offered. You can feel dizzy just imagining the rail tracks that lead poor souls deeper to the madness, all the way to the altar of darkness. You delve too deep. You know it yourself too. No man could ever return from that deep. You take a one more look at the fortress just to make sure you really did make it out. Escape? Question mark? Did you really get out? No. Yeah, so that ending is like the PTSD ending where it's like, you escaped, but did you? Wow. Connor, I beat Please. the game. Yeah, I mean, you got you got the worst ending, but it's an ending. I did it. I didn't think I could do it. Actually, this makes me want to play the second game, too. Whew, what a day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had a great time. Thank you for spending time with me.